So in this video, I wanted to take a look at a pretty cool older pen, and that is the Lamy Spirit. Uh, There's a good chance you've seen a picture of one of these at some point, uh, but maybe you haven't used one yourself. It was a fairly popular, I think, pen from Lamy in the 90s, and uh, I'm not sure when they stopped selling it, but uh, they are still kicking around, and you can find them if you look. So it's a all metal ballpoint pen. It's also sold in mechanical pencil. Uh, I have it in the, the pen. And uh, yeah, one of the more interesting pens from Lamy, especially in their, in their 90s years, which I think were particularly cool. Characteristics of this one are the uh, high gloss finish. It's a stainless steel. I believe it's also sold in a palladium finish, which would be matte and an all black. This one again stainless steel, chromed. The uh, pencil or pen, whatever you have, has a few unique properties. Obviously the first is it is incredibly small and incredibly thin. Uh, just for reference here, it, it is next to a Sharpie. And here is it next to a uh, Platinum Preppy, just kind of whatever I had lying around. The diameter of the grip, that's this section right here, is six millimeters. So it is incredibly thin. Definitely not going to uh, be the most comfortable pen out there, but if you're looking for something to put inside of a notebook or to keep in a pocket or in a small bag, this is going to be one of the best pens possible for that. Uh, as for the other interesting qualities, definitely aesthetically it's very cool. One of the thinnest pens or pencils out there. And then supposedly it's made from a single sheet of steel. I'm not sure exactly how it was done. Maybe it was like a big sheet of steel and each of the individual parts were cut out and then they were folded and put together. That would be my guess. I don't think it was actually folded and machined and worked from a single piece of steel. It must've been cut and then brazed or uh, welded or whatever you would do to something like this. The other distinctive part of the pen is the uh, this grip section. It kind of has that sort of uh, silencer design. There's a few different ways it's referred to, but it's definitely very distinctive looking with those holes cut out in it. Every part of the pen is chromed. All parts of the pen are metal. There's no plastic on here at all. Uh, so it's very cool. Obviously it's retractable. Basically a silent click action. It has a matching clip that actually is really spot on. And then uh, to work with the pen, you pull this piece off, unscrew it, and then you can see it has a refill that is sort of a pressure fit in there. You just give it a tug and it uses this refill. Let's see if we can make out what it says on there. Not too much. Uh, basically what this is, it's a D1 refill, a metal body D1 refill. Uh, Lamy, I believe, calls it the M21 refill. So it's just a standard refill, but Lamy has their own. It's not like, yeah, M21 uh, right there. It's not like the Lamy M16 refill, which is actually proprietary. The, M's, the M21 maybe has Lamy's name, but it's actually a standard size refill. And then I think you just push it back in here and then you screw this down and you're good to go. This refill has that little band there so you can see what color you're using. Uh, if you put in a different D1 refill, it may not. So that is the pen. It's uh, surprisingly heavy given how small it is, but it is all metal. It has some really nice metal work. It is just crazily thin. It looks like, uh, you know, some like a pointer or some sort of prop or some sort of dentistry tool. It doesn't really look like a pen, but uh, very quickly you see this front end and realize it's a pen or a pencil of some sort. Very limited logo application. We see it says Lamy right there on the grip. Uh, nothing under here. And again, no paint or, or plastic on it at all. Uh, if you want one of these pens, you're basically going to have to buy it used. I think they went out of production in the late 90s. You should be able to find them on eBay uh, for, I'd say prices will range from about 40 
to one hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, obviously, don't buy it at one hundred fifty dollars. But if you hunt around your patient, you should be able to find it in that forty dollar price range, maybe sixty. Uh, it's most popularly seen in this chrome. It's also sold in that matte palladium, which is I think more expensive. And then to me, it seems like the rarest of them is the all black design, which I think would be very cool. I haven't actually gotten my hands on one of that too. I don't know how that all black holds up. This uh, this one I bought, I believe new old stock, so NOS, and it's really in immaculate condition. It's one of those things where you're a little bit hesitant to take it out and play with it. Uh, last thing before we get into the writing, I just wanted to compare it to a, a skinny pen. This is a plat uh, sorry, a, a friction, Pilot Friction, the Biz, it's called. And this one is definitely a skinny pen. Maybe this is in the, maybe, I don't know, eight millimeter range, maybe nine millimeter range. Definitely much, much thicker than this tiny little pen right here. So very big difference between the two. Obviously these things, as you get smaller and smaller, they get rarer and rarer. You know, after, you know, under nine millimeters or something in diameter, every millimeter you shave off is that much harder. So you see a lot of pens at nine millimeters, not that many pens at eight, fewer at seven, and basically none at six. Uh, so that's why this pen is such an interesting oddity. As for the writing, it's just a uh, standard D1. I have the Lamy D1, the M21, and it's fine. This one would probably benefit from being replaced, not because it's out of ink, just because these ballpoints tend to get old. And if they're more than a year or so old, they don't tend to write as well. And it, again, it's called the Spirit. It's actually not a bad refill. It's pretty smooth. It kind of writes like the uh, M16 in fine. So a, a better glide than most of the M16s out there. As for comfort, you know, I'm not gonna lie, it's not super comfortable. To me, I'm kind of sensitive to these narrow grip pens and you kind of feel like you're just, instead of writing like this, I kind of feel like I wanna go like this and just sort of pinch it, which is super uncomfortable. You have to remind yourself to stay with a more standard grip and just not to put this thing into some sort of death grip, just to hold it loosely and write more like you would with a normal pen, but the combination of the, the chrome coating and the absolute skinniness of it wanna make me change my grip to do something weird like that instead of just holding it and writing loosely. Again, you just wanna like sort of pinch it with some sort of claw shape and you have to avoid that. Uh, it's doable, but it takes a little bit of concentration. So yeah, that is the Lamy Spirit, a very interesting relic from uh, from the 90s. Thanks for watching.